Hello, I'm Dr. Melissa Najarian. I am the University of Minnesota Rural Surgical Training Program Site Director located at Essentia Health in Duluth, Minnesota. Welcome to our program. We're very excited about our five-year rural surgical training program. I really wanted to be a well-trained general surgeon with a very broad scope of practice. I grew up in a smaller community and I knew that I wanted to practice in a smaller community setting. So having a training program that would match my ideal practice was very important to me. I'm from a small town, uh, population, unincorporated. Uh, having the community around me to kind of help uh, foster my upbringing and then just knowing a lot of the people that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis kind of carried through through undergrad and medical school as far as um, doing training in rural environments um, and then also looking forward to where I wanted to be in the future finding a training track that would allow me to be prepared to work in those environments. I knew I wanted to practice in a smaller town and I needed a program that could offer the training and experiences needed for this. I chose the rural track because I'm from a small town and I knew I wanted to be a physician in a smaller community. I was accepted into the University of Minnesota Duluth Medical School, which focuses on rural primary care. When you are in Duluth, you also have a mentorship type model of a rotation. You're one-on-one -on -one with a surgeon for the duration of the rotation. You also work with medical students, so you have truly a service line type experience similar to what you do at the University of Minnesota. There's also elective time built in and you can do rotations in uh, urology, orthopedics, or whatever specialties you may need to help you be the best rural surgeon wherever you will train. I would say as a chief resident you get more cases in a rural um, community rather than an academic community they still have a trauma center, um, so you still get that experience, but you get a lot of the general surgery experience that you need to do if you're gonna just leave residency and be a general surgeon afterward. Compared to other programs, I feel like I had more autonomy in my chief years in both the operating room and in the ward. The Duluth experience really enhanced the program and set it aside from all the others. Being able to rotate through smaller communities and truly experience what a rural surgery practice encompasses was one of the highlights of my training. You spend the first three years with the surgical residents at the University of Minnesota doing all the same rotations that they do. The rural track is especially unique because it is a true hybrid program that offers general surgery training in a traditional setting for the first three years at a world-class academic medical center with nearby level one trauma and burn centers, followed by two chief years where you do general surgery in a community setting. There are also away rotations in our chief years to small communities in northern Minnesota where you get to see and feel what it's like to practice in a smaller hospital with limited in-house resources. There aren't many programs that offer that type of exclusive look into what life will potentially be like after residency. Strong academic program for your fundamental training, your first, second, and third year, followed by that community setting um, in your fourth and fifth year. Couple that with the detail you get on your subspecialty training. A lot of that was stuff that I still have in my practice. C-sections, vasectomies, subspecialty training that a lot of other programs don't seem to have as much flexibility on. And I was able to do a lot more ENT and um, GYN surgery to better prepare me to be in a smaller community setting. It's a hybrid model where you have three years that you spend in the Twin Cities working with the academic surgeons and taking care of some of the sickest patients that we have in the state. Um, and then your senior years, years four and five, uh, you come to Duluth or you reestablish your new home base uh, and you work in a community setting uh, doing a lot of bread and butter general surgery um, and also seeing some complex cases that come from the surrounding area. Um, Duluth is a level one training center, um, and so we, or a level one trauma center, and so we do see a lot of referrals from the outside hospitals of rural communities uh, that come here to get their definitive care. When you leave here, you will be confident in taking care of extremely sick critical care patients, removing a skin lesion in clinic, and everything in between. You will also get great endoscopy and C-section experience, as well as experience in procedures in subspecialties such as urology, gynecology, and orthopedics. We operate way more. There is, um, I think the system is made that way that the residents are operating mainly in the OR, and then there's 
a lot of support and a lot of help from the attendings and from all the other healthcare providers in order to make that happen. And I've already I've been here a month only, but I've had way more cases than I expected. And it's great, and I think, I, I think at the end of this, I'll feel more com competent and confident in my skills. I would say the, one of the major benefits of working here in Duluth is that there's, uh, it's a much smaller department, and so the, in the realm of surgery, there seems to always be a hierarchy starting at medical school and then working your way up to being an attending. Uh, whereas here, it's just the, mostly it's just the residents and uh, the staff. Felt very comfortable when I finished residency and I was able to transition into practice right out of residency. Then in the fourth and fifth years, you join us up in Duluth, Minnesota for a rural surgical training focus. You have block rotations that include operative GYN and you are also trained to do C-sections. You then spend almost half of your time in our rural surgical sites in Brainerd, Detroit Lakes, and Virginia, Minnesota. The additional benefit is that we have the opportunity to go out and do uh, rotations in the smaller communities, including Virginia, Brainerd, Detroit Lakes, all of which have populations of less than 20,000 people. And so it's a, a great training environment where you really get a sense of what is it like to be a community surgeon in those settings. Um, a lot more endoscopy numbers and having a broader scope of practice than you would at, at an urban center. Training there just completely sets you up for your practice that you will have when you graduate. Um, I think that is truly what made it so special is just the intensity of the program in the beginning with all of the subspecialties followed by um, very focused rural surgery, broad spectrum training um, in the last two years. Yeah, it gives you a broad exposure to um, a variety of patients. Everything from very complicated uh, transplant patients that you'll see down in the um, Twin Cities and then up to here where you have individuals that have been putting off having uh, their hernias repaired for 15, 20 years. Uh, so it's not, not something that you would necessarily see in the urban uh, areas to begin with. Uh, so I feel the, that it's really nice to have that broad exposure over the course of your residency training. Here I'm, I'm really focused on the surgeries, the post-operative course of the patient, how do I work them up, the things that actually I'll be focused on when I'm graduating. You really do become a part of the team and uh, your, your input matters in patient care. Um, and then you also are working directly um, with staff to, to care for patients and you get to be exposed to um, some pretty complex cases early on. You are doing the cases as a fourth year and making clinical decisions pre and post operatively with appropriate guidance. The attending surgeons become your colleagues and friends as much as they are your personal and professional mentors. The attendings as well as the ancillary staff really made the residency special. Not only are the attendings knowledgeable, but they're very approachable and they're always willing to teach. Because there's not a lot of residents here, all of the attendings are really focused on teaching. Um, because they're just concentrating on two residents um, and then they already know from their experience what do we need to know for the future and, and what are the, they get to know the resident, they get to know what our deficiencies are because they're just focused on us um, and I think they're very good at um, trying to make us plan for things on our own and seeing okay what is your plan on this patient what do you want to do how do you want to plan this surgery so they're they're keeping us very involved in the patient care and i think that's the real world when you're done that's what you need to do and i think they're already trying to make us do these steps prior people are not as stressed as when you're in a big city like minneapolis everyone is just nice and laid back and at first, when I came here for the first few days, I was like, why is everybody so slow? What is going on? Let's just get this done. And then I learned that there is no hurry. Everything is fine. And I think that made my anxiety less, made me more comfortable, made me want to learn more. And I think I'm, I'm absorbing things easier because I'm not as anxious. Um, and then the city is just beautiful too. Um, so that, that adds to all of that. Beyond medicine, Minnesota is a great place to live. The Twin Cities and Duluth are the two jewels of the state and give you easy access to do whatever you want to do. Whether it's the outdoors, arts, restaurants, sports, 
music. Duluth is a really up and coming town. Uh, they've made it on outside magazines like Top 10, uh, Places to Live for a couple of years, I believe. Um, I myself love to do outdoor activities. Here in Duluth we have Lake Superior right in our backyard and uh, there's been a lot of efforts recently to um, connect the, the city through trails. The uh, North Shore has a lot of opportunities for hiking and kayaking and um, just getting out and generally exploring. Given everything is really nearby makes you willing to go out more and enjoy everything more. Um, I love the lake. Um, we've been going to walks every day. Um, I love, we went to Gooseberry Falls, that is beautiful, and I heard there's an island that now I have to visit. The city of Duluth in and itself is so warm. The people are wonderful. There's so much to do outside of work, whether you're in Minneapolis or up in Duluth or in any of the other communities like Detroit Lakes, Brainerd, Virginia, you name it. There's so much to do in Minnesota that it, you'll just have such a fantastic five years. Our residents that have graduated have more than adequate numbers of cases. They also have a great variety of cases. There is a heavy focus on endoscopy and colonoscopy, as that is a large portion of a rural surgeon's practice. If you are applying to general surgery residency and want a career practicing community general surgery in smaller communities, then you should absolutely consider the University of Minnesota Rural General Surgery Program. It is absolutely a fantastic training program that will leave you graduating prepared and ready to start a practice independently in a community setting. Um, my skills when I left my training program were ready, I was ready, and it's just such a rewarding experience. We welcome the opportunity to train you at our Rural Surgical Training Program. Thank you very much. The Minnesota, University of Minnesota's rural training track was an obvious choice for me um, when I was looking at my potential options.